Who that song? Who that rapper like? Rapper delight. Rapper delight. Yeah. The hip hop. Yeah. Uh huh. The hippie. The hippie. The hippie. Yeah. I mean. He took the S off so he wouldn't get sued. I see. Oh yeah. I'm sure. Oh, go time. Remember the episode? Remember the episode when uh, when Gina, when Gina moved there with Martin, and it was. Bullshit. 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 You know what I'm saying? Rolling. Mm. Oh, that was my favorite episode. All right. Is everybody mic'd up? Everybody, am I even mic'd up? You're, You're not, not mic'd, mic'd up. up. I got you. I got you covered. Oh, you got me covered. Okay. Seriously? Right. Favoritism? That's what we're doing? Listen. First show? Okay. Listen. You know what I mean? Listen. I started this barbecue shit. Is he strapped up? I started this barbecue shit. Is this the motherfucking right. thanks I get? <laughs> What's going on? Um, <laughs> this is uh, the the pilot for uh, Rap the Lights. Uh, Rap the Lights is a web series podcast that um, we wanted to come up with to basically um, bring the hip hop culture to you the way we see it. Yeah, we could put other like other podcasts. They got celebrities on there and stuff like that. But on this podcast, we're the celebrities. We're the motherfuckers that you want to listen to because we're moving the culture. Black folks move the culture. Mm -hmm. And this is what we do out here. So we're just going to be talking about hip hop, talking about hip hop artists, new artists, old artists, um, different things that are going on in the culture, uh, people that you haven't heard of, people that you might need to hear about and everything like that. So um, on this particular show, like I said, this is a pilot show. Just to test the waters, um, we're going to talk about our favorite hip-hop album this year. Now, that that doesn't necessarily mean the best hip-hop album this year. It's not like we're doing the Oscars or no shit like that with uh, the Grammys, isn't it? Yeah, right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not like that. It's basically whatever hip-hop album resonated with us this year, that's what we're going to be particularly talking about. Um, I'm going to start off by uh, going around the table and then... Everybody can like introduce themselves and tell you what their Instagram is and all that kind of shit, and then we can get into the show. So you wanna start off with you over there, Ty? <laughs> My name is uh, Brother Tyrone, aka TSK One. The one is indeed one because it stands for original, never equal. My Instagram is TSK One Number Two. Follow, follow the brother. And um, he's an accomplished artist. <laughs> it's so wrong. It's that's so a grim, wrong. That's a grim sentence, oh. man. Not, not so accomplished. Working on being a becoming you very a much are. Ty. You, you very much artist. are. What are you talking about? You I very love much are. Take it. I Take that. A per, I, I possess a certain, a special certain Should skill that teach much practice. <laughs> <laughs> I got it good. Apparently, you lack it. Uh, <laughs> so that's what we're doing. So we're going to move over here to. Uh, the young lady. Without further ado, my name is Miss <laughs> Smith. Uh, my Instagram is Miss Smith two two three. That's M S S M I T H two two three. Um, I am a aspiring blogger, I guess you can say, in fashion. Um, I've known these two cats since uh, the early days of the nineties. Uh, always been immersed in the culture, so uh, this it's should be a, a piece of cake uh, for me and these two guys. Um, but uh, yeah, we're excited nice. to bring you everything that we are. That goes on in our minds with regards to today's climate and world and hip hop and everything like that. So, yeah. The 90s. The 90s. 90s. <laughs> the 80s. Era ever. Here we go. <laughs> they old as fuck. Ever, <laughs> ever, y'all wish y'all wish today. Y'all wish <laughs> y'all were old enough <laughs> to go to. We were there, man. Yeah, yeah we were yeah. there. We were in Scotland, Nicole. Philly in the nineties. We were in Scotland. Hotness, in the hotness. Yeah, you know I mean, all right. Um, I'm Bats. Uh, Lavar, Bar. Um. I've been Tell me how you got that name, son. <laughs> he, he gave oh, me that name. Did he really? Yeah, he I gave me that name. Well, the name, the name <laughs> is, uh, the, it, it came from a movie. I don't know if you ever watched, um, what was that, um, Goodfellas? Goodfellas. Yeah. The guy, remember the guy that got beat up and shot and put into the trunk? Was his name bad? His name was bad. That's so disrespectful. <laughs> but he was a loud mouth and he was a shit talker. But my, real, and in my, real life, his name was Billy Batista. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My oh, last okay, name, my last, well, my last name and everything right. like that. So, so that, it just came from the bats and it. everything like that. So, okay. Um, I am uh, used to do the Film Freaks uh, show on uh, YouTube, Facebook, filmfreaks.com. 
Um, but I've been doing the culture. I produced a couple. I got one of my little mixtapes from back in the day over here. You know what I mean? Produced a couple records here and there. And uh, I love the hip hop culture. And I want to make sure that it doesn't get watered down and diluted and gentrified and. Ooh, and such a big word. <laughs> such a hard into, word for us. <laughs> into something that it's not. So we're here to make sure that history is correct. Yeah. You know what I mean? Guardians so when you when, in, re, in regards to hip, to hip hop, we're here to make sure that history is correct so it won't go down in history as like some motherfucker is supposed to be the king of hip hop and he ain't the king of hip hop right. or whatever the case may be. So right. that's what we're going to be doing. So we're going to be talking about the favorite album of the year. I'm going to go in first and um, just shoot straight from the hip. My favorite album of the year was um, an album that was a short album, but um, I enjoyed it. I partially enjoyed it too much because I had it downloaded on my phone and like I'm out like underground and stuff. My title wouldn't work and shit like that, so I had to like listen to it all the time. <laughs> so I had to, I was listening to it a lot, but uh, 2018's Daytona by Pusha T. That was hot. I like that yeah, one. That okay. was my favorite album of the year. And it was beyond the whole Drake and him situation. I love I love Pusha T. Yeah. I love the yeah. clips. Yeah. I remember when I saw you at his, his concert. At the concert. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was yeah. That was yeah. That yeah. Was, yeah. That was, yeah. See, cool sign. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool sign. Because yeah. I've, I've always been a fan of him, even when he was with the clips. I've always yeah. been a fan. Even when he was with the clips. I was a fan of Pusha T mm -hmm. more than I was of Malice, Malice necessarily. Yeah. You know what I mean? I was a big fan of Pusha T because he's like hella, he's hella flamboyant. He got the sizzle. You know what I mean? So I was really into the whole Daytona album, and it was just some some wicked shit going on. Yeah. Um, Ye produced the whole album. They was that was like the first of the whole summer rollout for all the shit that Ye was doing with the him of Pusha T, Ye's album. Uh, Nas's album, yeah. Tiana Taylor's album, the uh, Ye and Kid Cudi album when they were doing that whole mm -hmm. rollout. So this right. is the beginning of that. And I, I, I love the album. I mean, it was like, this was like his purple tape for me. So. Yeah. yeah. Because this was like, because he got so much press about it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And everybody well, was on it. Well, did he get press about it because... So this did come out before him and the Drake beef, right? Or well, this, it came out this, on the cusp this, of the Drake this, beef. This started the Drake beef. But nobody heard this until after Drake responded. Right, okay. So nobody really even fucked with But I mean, the, the people that was looking for it fucked with so it. So do you think he got pressed because his album was fire? Or do you think he got pressed because of the beef with Drake? I think he got pressed because of the beef with Drake. But once you dug into it... Like damn, that album is fire. I was hot. I yeah, mean, I, mean, I, I mean, so I, it's I, I it's one thing to get press, right. and then people go back in this garbage. You know what I mean? But right. when people like, damn, this Pusha T dude is nice. Yeah. After you know what I mean, that that gave him a a, a platform, and then mm -hmm. when you got to, you're like, damn, this could he got nominated for a Grammy? Best uh hip hop album. I did hear that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, so okay. it ain't it ain't garbage. You know what I mean? This shit is this is a one shit right mm -hmm. here. I loved mm -hmm. it. You know what I mean? He had the joint with him and Ross. Um, that I loved, and it was just a really solid album, especially, it was only like seven songs on yeah. it or something like that. I wanted more songs. Well, that but, seems to be the norm for 2018. Yeah, I want more songs. You know, we were old school. Yeah. I remember, what was that, De La Soul had like 32 songs. 32 songs. songs. You know yeah, I mean? this would be like double that. CDs back yeah, in the day. Y'all yeah, gotta yeah. step y'all game up, yeah, like, for yeah, real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you'd, you'd be a year getting to it. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> you're right, Listen, you're right. Listen, sometimes on some albums, I was on some <laughs> shit like that. It'd take you a whole year to, like... Digest the whole thing. But right. the world is smaller now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you don't, yeah. It's, it's different. But, uh, yeah, the John Rick Ross, he had the John, um, he had with Ye, um, with Good and Infrared was the one we talked about drinking mm -hmm. and everything. But I just really enjoyed the album. I, I, I was just happy to see a guy that I've been listening to for years right. finally get that kind of not notoriety, you know what I mean, yeah. in, in the public. Cause nobody really, I mean, people heard the clips back in the day, yeah. but they didn't really fuck with Pusha T like I fucked with him. Yeah. Now everybody's like fucking with him. Right. Advocate. Yeah, I was, yeah, I was a big fucking advocate. <laughs> I was a big fucking he was advocate. He pushing Pusha T, right? Yeah, exactly. I was, a big, I was a big fucking advocate. Because he, he was dope. Like, and people yeah. were talking about how one-dimensional he is, and he only talks about dope. But he, his, I'm the type of person, I love hip-hop. Mm -hmm. And from, no matter what your topic matter is, mm -hmm. if you can flip it, 
flip words, yeah, I'm fine. Mm -hmm. Now, if you you can't if you just talking about dope and you can't even flip words, now you're terrible. Yeah, because now you don't even have a style. You just talking dumb shit. Well, that's because I I think for us and. It's all about being a dope lyricist, I feel like. Yeah. I feel like with, with today's day and today's day and age, a lot of them just aren't. Like, I mean, they're just rhyming words, but they're not lyrically saying anything mm -hmm. to capture the all. You know what I mean? And a lot of the, 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 the their, their listeners are okay with that because they're used to that. Yeah. But we're used to a different type of, of hip-hop, a storytelling. You know what I mean? We're used to, you know, just... just kind of just being just all the way unique with whatever it is that you're bringing out. Like, your content was just, like, it just had to be, like, on yeah. high, you on the 10. Just, well, you know what I mean? Like, you dudes is on drugs. Yeah, a lot of them. <laughs> no, and they're actually not on drugs. Some of them are. Some of them are on drugs. But a lot of them aren't on drugs. They're just pushing that shit, but they're really not are on they, drugs. A lot of them, they're not. I mean, I heard the young bull. What's his name? Not Uzi Vert, but what's the other one? Um, with the, Kodak Black. No, not Kodak. The other one that has the um. Oh, I can't think of his name. Twenty one. Not, not, not twenty one. He looks. It's it's close to Uzi Vert. <laughs> is that y'all? Lil Yachty. Lil Yachty. Lil Yachty. He's the same thing. Lil he Lil speaks Yachty. this 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 rap. He's speak, you know, in, in it, he's talking about getting high and popping this and that. And then when you see it in a live interview with him, he's talking about no, I don't do anything. Well. Yeah, yeah. Which, you know what I mean? Well, like, that's that's a lot of like, that, but that been a thing. That been a thing. Like a lot of those thing, dudes, but like not drug use. Like yeah, come yeah. on, like there been been a thing to talk about. Yeah, I'm from the streets. Yeah, I killed three niggas. <laughs> like, but it's different well, when you're coming well, at them and saying like, you know what dudes, I mean? I'm popping pills. That was like that's keep that shit to yourself. That was like in the closet. I'm yeah, talking about yeah. doing now drugs. They, they, yeah, they really drugging. Yeah, you want to talk about it? Like which is one of the things of how I see music, how it court music, how all generational music correlates with the preceding one, mm -hmm. the current one, and the, and the subsequent one. Right. Mm -hmm. They all connect. But the way music is marketed in this country is kind of separatist. It's kind of isolating one sound for another to be able to put a label on something, sweep the old under the rug so we can concentrate on the new. Mm -hmm. But what it is, and, and what I gather, because I'm strictly biased, the music of my generation spoke to me, so I am still of that. Mm -hmm. And I carry that. But part of what I had to realize is that the music of our predecessors, our offspring, their generation, came from ours. Mm -hmm. So we play a part in what, where they got oh, yeah. what they, oh, yeah. their speech. Yeah. Yeah. And where they got what they got, oh, yeah. they right. got it from us. So yeah. We got to be responsible in that regard. So we are complicit in that. Yeah. So that's where, where part of my study is and mm -hmm. where, where the what, when, where, why, and how things are the way they are and not isolate our children's the music of our children's generation, mm. not isolated, but to embrace it and em thusly embrace them as well. Mm. He's like Absolutely. Professor X over here. Yeah, All yeah, right, yeah. Go on, brother. His knowledge, yeah, right? Go on, brother. Uh, 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 other me, other me, other me. <laughs> <laughs> to <read an> exit. <laughs> No, sorry. She ain't no, shit. I, I, she ain't shit. Ain't mad at you? No, I mean, no. I, I agree with you 100%. Embrace it. Embrace it, I embrace you 100%. I can't even hold it. That That's who I am. Eloquently put, I, I, that was that was fly. I like embrace that. It, I like that. Yeah, you know I mean. You need to get, take a page from this brother. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm learning. <laughs> <laughs> But um, all right. So that was that's that's my my favorite of the year was Pusha T's Daytona. If you didn't listen to Daytona, I suggest you check it out because it's dope as shit and it don't take you that long. It's only seven songs on the motherfucker. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so we can scoot over here to to Miss Smith, and uh, she can tell us uh, what was her um, favorite of this year. So was I, it Little Yachty. It was not Little Yachty, and it will probably never be Little Yachty. I can don't just shit on put that note. I'm just gonna put little that out there. Boat. Now, Lil Uzi, I can get with. I like Lil I Uzi. Lil Uzi. I love Uzi is a little hot. He's yeah, hot. I fuck with some um, of the stuff. But there were three that I kind of got with this year. They okay. were more into the early spring, summer releases. I know it was um, J. Cole. Oh, K.O.D. K.O.D. Was KOD. hot. Yeah, that was one of my yeah, favorite yeah. ones. That was what came out in April. Mm -hmm. um, and then following that was, um, and I'm not a fan of this guy, but I can't hold you. His, his album was hot and it's still producing hits. Drake. Scorpion. Oh, the Scorpion album. Hot. Yeah, yeah. I like that one. Yeah. And then, Pusha T made him go back and rewrite it. Yes, but <laughs> <laughs> he did. He did. I, I, yeah, he did. He did. Uh, I mean, but shout I out think, to Pusha T. I yeah. think one of my favorites, and you can, you know, maybe because I am of um, of the old school, was Jay-Z, Everything is Love. Like, I, I really appreciated that Oh, album. the Carter album. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Everything yeah, the Carter album. I appreciated yeah, that. Yeah, I appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. That was, that was... 
That was good. He had some tracks on there that, I mean, it wasn't um, Reasonable Doubt. Like, I wasn't listening to it from beginning to end. You know what I mean? <laughs> but it was, some, it was some joints on there that I was like, so, yeah, this is like, yeah, yeah, yeah I, the, this. The, I like it. Like, it's funny because the thing about that album, the the Carter album, mm -hmm. the, it was Everything is Everything. Everything is Everything, yeah. Um, Everything's love. Everything's love. The thing about that album is, I think people got caught up in ape shit. Yeah. And didn't give it a chance. Yeah. To to flow all the way through because ape shit is nothing like anything else on the album. Yeah. The rest of the album is like just him and Beyonce. Right. Just talking some like, like like black family empowerment. Yeah. Type of shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? It was a little and, more and, conscious than yeah. what we're seeing from Jay Z, and I think that's why I like. Um, um, J. Cole as well. Like, he's not a conscious rapper. However, mm. this album did possess some tracks that spoke to you a little bit more, you know what I mean, on the uses of drug use and, and what's going on in the society today and things of that nature. So I really appreciated hearing that. And plus, he's just a dope lyricist. Like, like he delivers it in a way that's just, like, not like the rest of these, you know, and I don't mean to, like, kind of overshadow these <laughs> down south rappers, these, I, what, what are they being dubbed now? Mumble mouth rappers. Mumble rap. Mumble but they're not everybody. Yeah. It's, it's not all of them is down south. It's just, it's just. The, Where are they from? I don't know. Any well, Uzi Vert's not from down south, and he's considered a no, mumble rapper. No, is he considered a mumble? I can't. I don't yeah. see him as a mumble mouth rapper. I don't see That's him like can, that. He's a part of because he, he was on the song. Remember they was on him and um, me because him and Migos is considered mumble rapper. Migos is considered mumble rapper. I and, don't consider Uzi Vert mumble. Well, rap. they were both from the. What was that song that made the, the Migos big? What was that song? Um, Bad movie. Lil, Bo Lil Uzi's on that. I, he was on that. But I, felt like he was, I felt like he was playing a part. I felt like, oh he, was, <laughs> I felt like he fell into it. I felt like he fell into that role. But if you I, listen to his album, his album to me doesn't sound like he's a, like a mumble mouth rapper. I, I mean, that's just I, my I, I mean, I'm, He might not sound like yeah. it, but he's, he's lumped in that crew. Yeah. He stood out on that track. Yeah, well, he, he didn't blend that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Bad bougie. Yeah, that, well, that was just a good fucking song. They could have right. did without him on that track. Yeah. 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 Well, they 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 just kept, they, they that was an industry that was like a record company move to put him on that song, I believe. Yeah. Like that. That's yeah. what they always. Do. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's and I enjoyed the song. It's a great song. It's a great still, song. Yeah. He's still he's song. still he's still, song. he's still on there on that tier. Him, Little Yachty, all of them are on that same. But are we like, talking about curve. the Migos? Like that's not an album I could listen to over and over and over again. Like, I don't think I li I, I think I might have heard it, but I didn't listen to it like that. I heard stuff like the newest one they had. Right. Yeah, I didn't really. Yeah, like I could listen to Pusha T. I can listen to, you know what I mean? Like I said, J. Cole, I can't listen to the Migos. See, I can't thing, listen to Little Baby. I'm not, no, don't, I'm not hating on Little Baby because he got some joints that I like. I think to me, Beat has been more... I've been gravitating more to like the beat of a song mm. more so than the lyrics because the lyrics have been like upsetting the shit out of me. <laughs> if that makes any sense. But the beat... I've been kind of relating to like whoever is producing these tracks, whoever's dropping the beat, like that's who, to, in well, my eyes, gets the accolade. You know what I mean? A lot like, of this stuff nowadays. I mean, like, like we we're older. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're older now. And I'm not How even many more, times you gonna say that shit? Because we're old. I gotta, because I gotta put it out there. <laughs> I gotta put it out there. A lot of people our age yeah. aren't going out as much. Right. We aren't hanging out as much. Right. This is this is what the clubs, the strip clubs, and the part. This is the this is what they're that's listening what they're to. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? And that's it's feeding that culture. Yeah. You know what I mean? So if you I tell people all the time, if you're a family guy sitting at home with your wife and your kids, you're not gonna be up there banging the Migos because they ain't speaking to you. Yeah. You know what I mean? These dudes is going out every night. Remember when we used to go out every every Something fucking to do every night. night. You know what I mean? Something to do with it was a time when, when we went out every I remember it was night. one week. One week. Where's y'all area? Where'd you at? We used to go Where's to the area. I remember one week, I went to Scooters every night that week. Every night. I was there Monday for Monday Night Football. I was there Tuesday for, um, what was that? They had the, 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 the jug. You can get the what, yeah, yeah, mug yeah, night. Yeah, yeah. You can bring a whatever size mug and they yeah, fill it up with beer. Up. Yeah, well, yeah, you probably needed Jesus or a heart attack. <laughs> right? when, when, Wednesday night was a, what, karaoke? It might have been. Karaoke was Wednesday. Well, Thursday was dollar night. Thursday was dollar night. It might have been. Friday was Friday night, Saturday and Saturday night, and then Sunday was football. My heart hurts. We <laughs> was there, and Monday night was football, too. Yeah. So we was there it was all rare. fucking it like, week. It, 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 it turned into that. Yeah. But which goes into, like, what, what I was saying, the way, how the way the music is marketed in, in America, it just feeds the thoroughfare, the, uh, the strip mall of, uh, of how 
everybody's want to get their dollar out of you know this particular um product being yeah. being black music um again i mean it's just it goes with the, like how i say i'm a hip-hop dude mm-hmm. yeah. i'm not fucking apologizing to that mm-hmm. i'm not compromising the music of my generation to facilitate the music of my offspring's generation right we need to find out a way to fucking get along and and exercise someone who is uh using us to make money yeah so that we can fucking do something that that's um but here's beneficial the thing. Here's for the us thing. all when you say find a way to get along <coughs> do we really need to find a way to get along with it i mean did we Okay, when I think about it, maybe in essence we found a way to get along from our parents' generational music that kind of became what we now know as rap in the eighties. You know what I mean? Like to to but see back then we we kind of we related to that music like that that old school R and B that old school yeah, rap we, like we we we, 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 we that in. we are the hip hop generation right right and, and, and we exist. related to it we, we related we to it yeah. we were and we related to our parents music right but my mom wasn't listening to J Ru. Right. We were you know born. Yeah, cool. Like, yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. like they wouldn't. Li- my mom didn't listen to that right. shit. Right. You know, what right. I mean? my mom listened to Luther Vandross, Freddie Jackson, right. Earth, Wind, and Fire. I come in there with Kitten Play. She's like, "Who the fuck is this? What's wrong with his haircut?" Yeah, so we still come like that. So we have yeah. an appreciation for that yeah. Yeah. funk music, or mm-hmm. disco music, etc., mm-hmm. etc. Et but when this new phenomenon came online, it's just something totally different yeah. that many people just couldn't. What the hell is this some mm-hmm. people got along some people did not but it was all meant for us so do we adopt it though do we like adopt do, do we adopt this this new wave of 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 of, of music that we we're kind of like like i said i i am into beats only we, i think we have point. adopted it I think things like yeah i think we, i, I think mean so i listen too. to everything our generation you feel like so our too. generation has adopted it yeah I don't, listen, I don't know. I don't know. I, have I don't so know many nobody friends. our age. I don't know nobody our age that doesn't fuck with the Migos on some level. On some level. Okay. All right. You know what I mean? So on some level. That's with a broad stroke. Yeah. So it's yeah. not being specific. Yeah. Because yeah. they don't always fuck. Everybody yeah. doesn't fuck with everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's, an entire and that's Migos album. No, no, no and that's that. fine. But there's a lot of motherfuckers that we grew up listening to I didn't fuck with their whole albums. Yeah, you're right. You know what I mean? Right. There's a lot of motherfuckers right. had a lot of fillers. And I gotta be honest. You're right. When when like this mumble stuff came online and you know i was like really like i was belligerently hating that shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, i was adamantly like yeah, what the the f? because it's our loyalty our right. loyalty to our culture right a lot like made us not want to be a part of this you know I'm what i mean i'm on record as saying guru and q-tip be, yeah. being some of the greatest lyricists to ever to ever rhyme on record right and if you're not Andre 3000, etc. If you're not giving me any content to go with to feed my mind and my soul, why is intelligent? You are, um, you're not feeding me to grow. <laughs> like, is it is is it just dancing? It can't be just dancing. It can't be just shaking my ass. It's got to be something extra. Mm-hmm. Is how we do. I mean, this is part of the culture. So mm-hmm. let me ask you a question. So the the rappers from our era, if they do not conform to the way rap is being delivered now, will they not make it? Like Jay Z came out. Jay Z has come out since this mobile rap has been, you know, one of the biggest things in mm-hmm. in, in this day and age right now. But he had he didn't conform. He's not spitting like uh, Migos conform. and which he one? Which, which one? Bit. Which what, what, which conform. track? I'm not gonna say ape shit. He he altered his Migos track. He altered he. Jay Z, Jay Z on um, that's on that's not on his album. That's on the Carter that's album. That's on the Carter that, album. Yeah, yeah. 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 Same time. He's been able to reinvent himself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm not gonna say whether it's successful or not because I'm still I'm on record. I belong to a different era, mm-hmm. but it's shown and proved that that him as an artist, as a lyricist, as a rhyme singer, has been able to alter his flow. Mm-hmm. You know, you know, in subsequent years post. Reasonable Doubt, which yeah. is a fucking masterpiece. Yeah. So, and so how about the Nas album? But him being in control. How come that, I mean, what that didn't put up numbers, and Nas is one of the greatest of all time. So yeah, tell me why that didn't do well. Talking about the recent one. That yeah. Album was it, had, it, it wasn't that great. It wasn't that great, but why? Why do you feel like it wasn't? It's like I think it was. I think it was production. Mm-hmm. I think it was production. Even though he's working, even though he's working with one of the best producers in in the in probably arguably 
one of the best producers in hip hop, in in the time of hip hop, one of the best producers being Kanye. I was so disappointed when he worked album on that album. album. Yeah, he worked. He did the entire album. Wow. But I think it's overkill. But 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 I think Ye bit off more than he could chew because he was doing all of those albums. Mm -hmm. And then you slip Nas's album in there. And he had some joints on there. He had to join the Cop Shot the Kid. Yeah, but it wasn't yeah, some, I like but this it album wasn't, I want to listen to from beginning. Like that is what I am used to. Like it, it's it's hard. It's, it's, it's hard. It's, it's, it is. it's hard to do that when you're trying to appease everybody. No, 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 Nas album. What's that? What's the title of that? that um, that's um. See, we should know that right off the dome. We should just know that I, because it's yeah, a Nas but, album, I mean, but it just wasn't. It was in and out. Yeah. Nasir. Okay. That was the name of it. Okay. Yeah, the Nasir album. You know I mean? So What's why do you think Cypress Hill Cypress album Hill. that they put out in 2018 didn't do well? I didn't even hear about that. Sh well, I didn't even know Cypress Hill put the album out. That's incumbent upon <laughs> their fan base. Like oh, that's, right. yeah, that's well, what Cypress Hill had a big fan base. Yeah, and I'm sure the motherfuckers that free base Cypress Hill. So I'm came saying, out. like, if we talk about <laughs> Guns and Roses, if Guns and Roses were to drop an album, that shit would probably go platinum because they had a huge fan base. Yeah. So did Cypress Hill. And, and that's that's on mm. us as as. As art, as people that support hip hop, yeah. to support those artists, yeah. Like Jay Z can sell records because people, we go out, we listen to it, and he also got the new motherfuckers that want to listen to it. Right. But we, 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 he still has us. Right. Motherfuckers like that that came from Jay Z's era that came out in '94, '95, around that era. Yeah. They didn't. They obviously they didn't keep us. Yeah. All of us. Yeah. Enough to the point where we're still out there supporting them, and they didn't garner any new people. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta recreate. You gotta recreate. Like, look at LL Cool J. LL Cool J was putting out records when we was babies. Yeah, you're right. And we were still banging, doing it in the '90s when Jay Z and it was coming out. Because <laughs> he yeah. never changed. Like, that's what the because that was Jay Z. I mean, that was that was you, L. You should never waver. Who you are, like you have to be a rich. You have to keep be one with yourself and remember what you can't change. Like your your gift, you can't change what got you to that to that point. And I think what Jay did was he never changed who Jay Z was. He never did. He just changed producers. Yeah. So he yeah. did change. Yeah, he did flow. change. Yeah. yeah. So he changed. The Whereas flow. somebody like me to say this ain't in my lifetime. Yeah, it's know, not. Jay -Z. It's not. It's so not. So I won't. I won't in my mind psychologically. I'm, right <laughs> I'm not gonna give it credit. I'm not gonna give it credit. Right. I was, yeah, I was right. not gonna be the other one. Yeah, that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was not gonna say that he put himself in a position where he could transform. Mm -hmm. Not all the same able to do and, that. And and see, and then also another thing with Jay, and I don't want to make this a whole Jay fucking no, show, but not. also with Jay, uh, <laughs> also with Jay, he had more control than other artists. He did. He did. Of his own product. You know what I mean? From the beginning. Mm -hmm. A lot of these dudes, they can't make them kind of moves. Yeah. Because they got somebody behind them saying, yo, I don't want you working Pull with that the producer. This, the, the I don't screen. want you doing that kind of record. Yep. I don't want that album to be put out. You know what I mean? And when you got people saying that, when you saying, when they saying you got to do a song with Genuine, <laughs> you know what I mean? Just and you say, I don't like Gen... I don't like... Just take my contract. And you saying, I don't like Genuine. I like his music. He cool and all, but I don't want to do a record with him. And they say, listen. Thanks for coming out. God bless. <laughs> <laughs> and you know who I'm, you know who I'm talking about. I, I mean, I, I hated that record. Yeah. That yeah. Nas record with Jim was a show. Yeah. Yeah. That shit was garbage. Yeah. That was a blatant attempt to get yeah. played to in the club. That was, that was crossover. That, that was, was the crossover. It was a blatant. Nothing wrong with crossing over crossover. as long as it's at your own volition. That yeah. was a blatant attempt to say, hey, guess what? This is a club record. Yeah. Listen to this. That's bullshit. Yeah. That was um. That was bullshit. You know what I mean? <laughs> so not that you don't like Who's singing on the track. Case? You just didn't like that. I didn't. He could have found somebody you else. Like that track. But Nas ain't track. that type of dude. Exactly. You're right. You know what I mean? You're that right. ain't your type of like everybody ain't that type of dude. Yeah. Nas ain't even a club dude. He never was. He never was. No. So why are you making club he records? Kinda, it's gonna come off. Kind of like that street disciple. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. I don't. I love his. Like I like the joint he had with uh Jada Kiss and uh. The, uh what was, uh, what was the name of that John? Uh, let's get it all in perspective. Oh, that John. Yeah, yeah that was his club was banger. Um, Which one was that? I can't. Um. Oh, this is my shit. What's the name of that John? 
See, that's they, 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 <laughs> that's old timers kicking in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I blacked out for a minute. You got reason to I mean, playing in the background. Forgive me. <laughs> but major look. Yeah, oh, hell okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. Major look. Yo, yeah. Major look. Kiss was Yo. on there when he was on the remix. Yeah, the remix. Yeah, yeah. First of all, wait, that kiss what? and fab jump that came out was that 2018 or was that? Mm, that was 2017. Like, that was, no, that was that was just recent. Freddie versus Freddie versus late. That was like yeah, December. Yeah, late so how technical are we getting? So can we can we pull that over? <laughs> like late 2017 oh. is still being to. like we're still <laughs> recognizing it in 2018, right? Are we not? If you want to, that was a high, that was a high. That was a high album. Because they were both split. Yeah. Yeah. Take it. A boy? Yeah. yeah, all right. All right, Ty's gonna step out for a minute. <laughs> I don't even, well, I don't even know what just happened there, but... Okay. But, um... You got, like, three albums. I do have three albums. <laughs> do I need to narrow it down? Because I'm not a Drake fan, but I really fucked with, um, with, uh, with, with his last Scorp album. Scorpion was... I really did. All right, we're gonna I, talk I, about... I really did. I all, all, all we're gonna talk about Scorpion. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna talk about... I really did. Scorpion, Drake. First of all, Drake just kind of, I feel like this album, I feel like all Drake's albums actually. So maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm kind of a small fan of Drake. You're a fan. I'm, and, like, and, I'm, and, I'm, I'm a fan, album. but I'm not a fan and, fan. Mm -hmm. and, and, and he's catering to the women in, in hip hop. He you know? is. Drake? He yeah, is. Drake. Yeah, Drake. Yeah. yeah, he's catering to the yeah. women in hip hop. You know what I mean? But, um, like, I fucked, I remember when I, I, went, I think I went out of town when that album came out. So I was like listening to it. And I was just sitting back like, Maybe. Yeah. Please. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, like really, oh, I wouldn't. You're so disrespectful. Oh. <laughs> you talk about that one track where you had all the women that come out and they're like, I'm not, not, I actually like the women tracks. Yeah, okay. I just don't like when he, don't flip-flop with me, my nigga. So I didn't flip-flop. Right. First of all, he mm -hmm. paid him homage to Mike. Like, that was one of my favorite tracks. I don't like that. You don't like that? I, I, I didn't like that. I didn't like the fake Michael Jackson. I don't like fake Michael no, Jackson tracks. No, it's not track. fake Michael. Maggie, that's, that's, that's earlier it's, Michael Jackson. That's, that's old Michael Jackson, I want to say. I, not earlier Michael Jackson. That's I don't like Michael that. Michael Jackson, like, right be before his Listen, passing. I don't like that. I, just like when, like remember, remember, oh, remember, remember when they did, move. remember when they were doing those re, um, remixes of songs with Biggie? Yeah. On them at the Biggie Dot. Right. That's yeah. shit. garbage. That's fake shit. Niggas who watch that studio. That shit's garbage. That's the same yeah, thing. That's like the same thing. That's the same thing. That's the same thing. That's the same thing. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm a big RB. No, they're reborn. I love RB. I love RB. And RB is like almost Jackson. like non existent. I, I feel love, like it's coming back. I love Michael Jackson. Yeah. But don't give me dead Michael Jackson on a new Drake well, track. What Michael Jackson you getting? All right. I, don't, I'm, I got old records. I got the old records. I got, I got, I got, uh. Prince at the Super Bowl. I got. I got. I got all the records. I got I got fucking uh, man. Yeah, I got ready. Thriller. I got Beat It. I got Off the Wall. I got all that shit. I don't uh, need. You want to hear? A, you want to hear new and unreleased content from, from one of your favorite? Like, come on, Michael Jackson. If, if it's from I don't him, hear if it's from the vaults, I, I it's if it's from the vaults, technology. Volts, let niggas die. If it's from the vaults, if it's from the vaults, that's one thing. But him singing with Drake. He, Drake, my, you know what Drake, you know what it sounded like to me? What? It sounded like Drake wanted to do the song with The Weeknd, but The Weeknd didn't want to do it. <laughs> and he's like, you know what? I got this old, I got, this that, old, mic. I got that old mic track. <laughs> and Jay said, you know what? Fuck The Weeknd. I and got I mean, that mic. Because but The Weeknd like sound like Michael Jackson. Well, I like The Weeknd too. So. I fuck with I, The Weeknd. I love The Weeknd. No, I, I love I The Weeknd. Listen, fuck you. I love I The Weeknd. I fuck with The Weeknd. <laughs> The weekend is dope on top of dope. I love the dope. weekend. I love the dope weekend. Dope on top of fucking dope. You know what I mean? That's a whole other subject, but that's what it felt like to me. And I like Drake on a lot of different shit, but that album didn't register. I liked. I liked. Uh, I haven't really loved the Drake album since what was the what was the joint he had? Like one of the first joints. Push your teeth. Summer sixteen. What's it? <laughs> <laughs> I like the. Uh, I like Drake. I, I like summer sixteen. I like the started from the bottom okay. and all that kind of that stuff good. until you but started from the bottom. Oh, then he get beat up for that. Yeah. He got beat up by Puff and all that kind of shit like that. Just he just got a lot of pitfalls. I fuck Who with got Drake. Beat up? Drake. Yeah, yeah, he got beat up. He well, they they were supposed to do that song together or Puffy was supposed to have had the beat or some shit Make like sure that. And and Drake just took it and ran yeah, with it, and then they caught up with each other. Real hip hop, catch you in the back, bottom of the uh, yeah, the yeah. recorded studio down in the elevators. You know, Tupac, Biggie, Tupac, shit. And Biggie, Tupac shit. and Biggie, Tupac and Biggie, 
That's real hip hop, right? Listen, yeah. rest in peace to Tupac shit. and Biggie. <laughs> Didn't Pac shoot himself? Pretty much, but we're just gonna let that go. <laughs> <laughs> Conspiracy theorists. What was that? What was that? Queens? The Queens niggas? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. God. But um, I fuck, I fuck with the Drake album. Okay. But it was just. It was just, I like the hits. I okay. like the John, what was the John, the, the Lauryn Hill sample? That was hot. I like yeah, that one. I yeah, can't think yeah, of the name yeah, of it yeah, off yeah. the top, but I, I, I like I like that God's one. Plan. Well, God's Plan was the one that kind of, that was a great, I think that was a great intro into his album. That was a great release of his first, um, of the single for that album. Mm-hmm. I think they did really well with that. The video was amazing, and it kind of just lured everybody in. So, I think it was, um. Now, this John, Talk Up, the one with Jay on it. Oh yeah, this is a good one. Now, that I was, like that, that one. was dope. We like got Jay one. on it. It's like he he he's like he, Drake reminds me of Rick Ross. Mm-hmm. Like he's dope. He makes dope music, dope content. But he's at his best when he's with other motherfuckers. That's really fucking dope. Mm-hmm. Like when you hear Ross with like other motherfuckers, mm-hmm. it make Ross say, "All right, you know what? I'm." Uh, it, he, yeah. It lifts him up a little bit. And it's not that he really needs it. Yeah. But it's great when it happens. You know what I mean? And that's right. what I feel like with Drake. Like, when Drake's with other motherfuckers, yeah. like, when he's with Nicki and Wayne, he's the, he's a shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because he's up there on that, he, yeah. he's on that competing lane. But when he's just doing, like, songs by himself and just doing, it's like, he's like. He just la, la, la. He just la, la, la. Yeah, But he yeah. step his game when he He on. step his game up when, when he's, he's up with other with, motherfuckers. With some, you know what I mean? So, with I fucked, hitters, I guess. so I fucked with Scorpion, okay. but not as much as I fucked with Daytona. Okay. You know All what right. I mean? And I did fuck with KOD. KOD was hot. Like, I can't even hold you. And that, did you hear about... Um, I feel like, though, he's not... I feel like he has the potential to be more, but it's something that keeps him from... He does his own production. from here to here. And I don't know what that is. He does his own production. Really? He just... him. Uh, Joe Button just did a whole thing about that. Okay. About J. Cole, yeah, because he's getting all that money. He's doing it, producing his own records, mm-hmm. writing his own records, mm-hmm. all like that. But the, the curve to that is... The, pr- the production ain't as good. Yeah. You know what I mean? He yeah. ain't pulling in the yays and the and the Michael Mays and all that kind of stuff but like he that. He has you know, a huge following. Yeah, and that's why he's making able to yeah. make that money make or whatever it, like that. But, stay relevant. but it doesn't he's push him over. Relevant, but it's not pushing it doesn't over push him over that level yeah. where he's like, everybody's like, yo, did you hear that new J. Cole shit? <laughs> You know what I mean? They, not, not actually, good. people were like it's that good. when his album came out. I can't hold you. Yeah. In April, people were like that. But we were checking with, for with, J. Cole. With K.O.D. Remember the old one that came out before that? The yeah, one when he was no, folding clothes no. in his girl and shit? Yeah, yeah. No. I ain't fuck with that. Maybe album by album, he'll be <laughs> that, that. That potential. Nah, but I like the one before be that. Yeah. And then I like the, he had those little follow-up, he had them videos right before that. Not this album, the mm-hmm. other album before it came out. Let's pull in some, some, some K.O.D. J. Cole. But he had a, he had like these little videos before those albums came out that were dope. Yeah. And then he dropped out, I want to feel full clothes with you and all that because he got his girl <laughs> and all that kind of... He was... Ta- Yo, what Ty! What is issue with these men? Ty! I don't have Interject- no... Interjecting their women into the... Uh, I don't have no problem with dudes like, and their women. Like, I don't get it. I ain't, I ain't like, got no problem no, with I really dudes and their women. Mm-mm. I ain't got no problem with it. Like, I ain't got about no problem with it. Me Too but, movement up in but, here because but it's your always woman, your, something. But you had the woman, same issue with fucking with Drake. Yeah, <laughs> because your woman shouldn't take over your records. No woman then you turn take in, over your records. And then you turn in... Again, we're going to use the use of this word. Homage. No, he's, he's looking... He's, damn, he's, homage is, he is bigging up his woman. The person that ain't nothing wrong with bigging up a woman. All right. But you don't have to do a whole album dedicated to that shit. I don't think he did a whole album dedicated to that Now you're coming off like... Remember when Corey... Remember when Corey was... Was talking about him and his girl all the time and, and CL Smooth. Oh, yeah, yeah. It just it becomes a thing. How is that millennial shit? You don't remember Gangsta Bitch? Yeah, yeah I, I need Gangsta a, Bitch was something totally different. I wanna. That, that was, was something not totally not different. From this perspective. Gangsta, Gangsta Bitch. Biggie's me and my bitch. No, that was I'm not this shit. I'm messing with you. That's a fight. That wasn't this shit. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't this. And I like J. Cole. And I, 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 and I like too. women. Yeah. And I like paying homage to women. Okay. But the, you know, it does it, when you're doing music. It shouldn't turn into like a Yoko Ono thing where that's all you, your, your whole scope is her. You know what I mean? Okay. Where your whole scope for your music and you just fuck my fans. I want to talk about my girl. He was loud you know at I mean? one time. Huh? He was loud at one time. He was like a, a borderline revolutionary. Like Who? he was going to say some shit. Cole? Yeah. Yeah, he still does is. He, does he still, is he still yeah, saying shit? He's in out. So he listened to his album. But I remember. So you don't want that in and out. He has some tracks shit. that don't where he. Spot. I remember the early J. Cole Early stuff, J. Cole. When he was, was talking about fraud. But he goes in and out. So if you even listen to Photograph. 
I don't know if you heard the photograph. Photograph is basically about like an Instagram stalker, a guy that's saying, "Hey, I want to be your boyfriend," and and stalking and so he he goes in and out. He has some tracks. Like, like the this entire... is the call I fucked with. Yeah, Can't get high, enough. You know what I mean? That kind of when he was talking to me, he was talking to yeah. me. He was fucking with me. He's saying he too consistent. I mean, he's con he does he's his consistent. thing. But you know, everybody change. You know what I mean? I catch time on one day, and I catch time on another day. It might be a different type of time. You know what I mean? Not that different. <laughs> Sometimes it all depends. Not 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 drastically different. Like, or or not, fuck yeah. fuck time. Me. I'm, I'm a. <laughs> That's crazy. Like me, like sometimes you might you might hang out with me and I'm on some shit. Other times you might catch me. Other times you might catch me and I'm like you catch me in Miami. I'm a different dude than I am right here. I'm always on some shit, but you know what I mean. But it's it's a difference, and that's what Cole is. And now you got a girl and you got a kid. When you get a girl and you get a kid, life gets different. Your perspective changes. Yeah, your perspective changes. Exactly. Exactly. But don't do a whole album, bus. That's your opinion. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like J. Cole has gained many a bigger female following. Oh, I'm sure he did. I'm sure he did. And because it was genuine, it was authentic, we felt that it was from the heart. Oh, yeah. I, I, I'm not hating on you, J. Cole. Oh, yeah. Chasing Keep dollars. Keep her up. No, oh, yeah. I don't think he was chasing what dollars. What did he trying to I say think he was. He was just saying how much love, love. Like, he... So he did that love album. <laughs> That's what you're saying. It was a love album. It was just saying... Was it dumb? Respect. Was it dumb? A, a love album. It was giving respect where respect was, need, like, needed. Like, this woman had just had his firstborn child, and he was in the moment when he probably was writing these rhymes, and, you know, a lot of it was just happening. and he probably put it all down on paper, and he put it on wax, and that's just it. See. Was she in the video? No, she ain't in the video. No video? No video. I don't even think he released any, any, no any, I don't, I don't know. He, he did those joints before the album came out. Yeah, he didn't release any of those joints. He didn't release any of those joints. He didn't release any of those joints. No, no baby, no, no baby. You can go on the internet. Google J. Cole. I fucked with K.O.D. Okay. And I fucked with that more than I liked the the one prior to that. Okay. So, I remember when we were doing the uh, the Creed, uh, when I was doing the extra shit for Creed, mm -hmm. and um, the guy that um, that directed Creed, the new guy that directed Creed, um, um, Stapleton Jr. Yeah. He looked just like J Cole. Yeah. And people thought it was fucking J Cole. You know what I mean? Threads That's how much, them, huh? Threads and everything. Yeah, big big old hair. Yeah. No, I mean big old hair. People people, people were like Is that J Cole. That J. Cole, he looks at him pull up, pull up. Fucking Artiste, huh? Yeah, yeah, he, he's a, he's a good, he, he did this movie called, um, the, 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 the Land. They had Eric about doing about those skateboards. Oh, yeah, you saw that? yeah, you saw yeah, that? yeah, 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 he's a good, he's a good shit. Yeah. I'm sure you heard about that. I'm sure you heard, you, you, you see in that little bit of film world. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> Nisi in that film world, you know what I mean? By default. Yeah, by default. <laughs> Shout out to the director, Bay. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, <laughs> all right, so I guess moving right along, Ty, you want to tell us well, who we are? Well, Ty has yeah. been on hiatus, to, so yeah. to speak. All 2018? <laughs> Why? What the hell? What? You took it back? Not a hiatus. <laughs> like, is, that, is that alluded to earlier? Like just being a product of the music from my generation, yeah. and as technology has taken hold and changed, mm -hmm. you know, part of part of the culture, and part of um, what, what what I sought joy and love in was actually going to record stores oh. and getting dusty and going through the mm -hmm. shelves yeah. and going to the new release rack and seeing what was new and just yeah. really be like you know and go from that. Those are. Uh, those are, that's, that's not available anymore. Yeah. Technology has surpassed that, has, uh, has eclipsed that. So now, everything, anything we're going to get in terms of new music is online, the streaming, et cetera. And to, um, you know, part of my ignorance and, and, and uh, you know, striving to, to, to come online to be, to become uh, more, uh, so let me ask you a question. So wouldn't that aid you more in the convenience of uh, uh, of allowing you to get new music that you may not have been privy to before? I feel like 
Yeah, I, everyone, we, I miss a record store. I want a record player. I want to play oh, it's not just that. old records. I want to, it's you know what I mean? It's not just that. It's just me, like I said, you know, being a product of the music of my generation, yeah. I didn't want to go forward. Oh. I wanted to go backward. Yeah, yeah. I was like that for a minute. It was like no, I but I to, feel I was like that. I wanted to go backward and reverse I engineer. I was like that. <laughs> to, I was like to, that. Like I called it, to reverse engineer hip hop. Yeah. yeah. To to take the music of our, our parents' generations yeah. that facilitated the music of our generation and to chase it backwards to to get a deeper understanding of where we came from. Yeah. Not just our parents' generation, the yeah. music of our parents' parents' generation, <coughs> but the music of our grandparents and etc. Yeah. But the study of music, <laughs> the, the 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 study of music, um, in general, and how it has influenced the earth. Yeah. But it all stems. There we go. Now this is black culture. All music, all popular music on the face of the planet Earth comes from the black man, woman, and child. Yeah. So this this is where, where, where it... But at a certain point, you can't be stuck in a certain spot going backwards. Mm -hmm. Though that is a particular study, we got to go forward to. Yeah. So I, I, I gained an impasse, and that's where I'm at right now. It's just, you know... Garner, getting a bit of uh, appreciation for the music of our children, of, our, uh, of their generation. Of modern day, of current yeah. day. Yeah. Okay, okay. So slowly but surely, I'm coming, I'm coming on. So have you heard anybody recently? What have you heard? What have you kind of listened to? I'm not, not necessarily like, but what have you listened to? A whole album. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to say it might, like, definitely not a whole album. Yeah. You know, but, I mean, I don't want to say, like, no, because I everything, like, yeah. everything on the, on the mainstream. Because... The mainstream stuff is too easy because yeah. everybody can get it. Like back in the day, remember you used to wear that dirty backpack? Yo. <laughs> <laughs> it was never Yo, dirty. Back in the day, like the best music came from underground. Like we had to like, uh, no, don't get me wrong. Like we, the, we had like Jay, we had, you know, Big, we had Nas, but. But they was underground was, like, at the time. They were underground. Yeah, they were they underground. Were underground. Like, You're right. Big right. was a dirty backpack. Right. And that's the thing with with, <laughs> with with things when things like fill up and go to the to the mainstream, it's on the top. Everybody can get it. Yeah. But that's not the truest and the purest. This creates and it facilitates a, 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 an underground. Things that 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 must be done. It has to be done under, under the nose of of of, of the, the masses of people who want to see everything. The true shit is going. The, the seemingly true shit is going to happen underground. Yeah, that's where I'm at, and that's just where my where my mind, body, and soul was still in, and still is to a certain degree, and it always will. But I, I want to, you know, so I don't want to speak to the mainstream new shit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I want to speak to some like like true shit to say that everybody don't get no flow. But um, it's funny you say that because I'm challenging myself in 2019 to get more underground just because there's a lot of artists out there. I feel like even the three that I named are mainstream, and yeah. I want to get away from that because I came from like a lot of underground artists, and that's because he put me on when we were right. children back in high school. Um, you know, and I and I and I appreciated that music. There's a lot of down ass rappers who aren't like officially, yeah. you know what I mean, accepted 100% mm -hmm. or known, you know what I mean? And that's and another thing yeah. that I want to do with the show yeah. is to be able to to put that kind of stuff out there, you yeah. know what I mean? To have, have segments where we could talk about motherfuckers that ain't nobody, nobody heard about. about. But dope you know as shit. Yeah, that, and you know something that's interesting, a lot of the artists from our era that come from the ghettos, from from uh, ocean to ocean, from, uh, from border to border and ocean to ocean, they have subsequently moved yeah. to Europe. Yeah. Why? Because that's where their fan base is. Yeah. yeah. And that's, they're, they're listening to because the way music is marketed over here, they can't get no shine. Yeah. Yeah. They can and barely it, fill up a a a a, a, a hall or, or or bar. And and that's like the the marketing thing. And then you know here, this is where we're building. We're, we're creating black black people in America push Constantly. push culture. So, globally. So yeah, globally. So we're. You know how you, next year, right, next, next the, the year, a pair of sneaks that, or a pair of jeans that you wear in this year, nobody wearing them. Right. Yeah. Fuck those jeans. And you get laughed at. Mm -hmm. The same thing with music. Mm -hmm. It ain't spooky. You you could be, oh yeah, that was the shit I said. 
You still listen to that? That shit corny. No one listen to it anymore. And, and, and we and we constantly and we're constantly making right. new shit. Right. And we're constantly creating culture. So we we talk now them over there. Right. They just getting it. But that's right. because they're putting their and time and shit at like rapid speed. Like they can literally write a rap song. Hours and this shit would it's be on the radio yeah, two no, days later. Listen, I was watching. That was unheard of. That I was watching an interview out. with Leo Cohen's, and I don't even fuck with Leo Cohen's. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I was watching an interview with Leo. I don't. He's a culture right, vulture. Right. He's a culture vulture. Right. Plain and simple. I don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? Whatever. But I was watching an interview with Leo Cohen's, and he was saying, he was like, hip hop is the only industry, the only industry right now, mm. only, mm. where mm. you can. You can create a product for cheap in, so, in a room like this. Yeah. You can create a hit record in a room like this mm-hmm. and make yourself a millionaire. In a night. In a night. <laughs> you can, we can. Shout we out can, to Hustle and Flow. <laughs> <laughs> we can make a record right now in this room tonight. Right. Put it on the internet. Mm-hmm. And by the morning time, a million motherfuckers done saw. Yeah. If it's that good. That good, you know what I mean? It's still gotta be good. It still gotta be good, or or at least at least somebody wanna see it, right? You know what I mean? Or hear it. You know deep. what I mean? That's some deep ass shit. But that's the advantage mm. of where we are right now. Like yeah. that's it. Like, can you imagine if we and had that I same? Listen, if I, if, we were younger, if, I, if we would have had that shit in the nineties, like we would have had be, him, we would have had him album. I would, I would be a fucking millionaire right. I would. We would have had him in his motherfucking right. garage. Right. We literally you know would have had hit records. It just took more. Bar time would have been on the track. I'd have been singing like. You can't sing. No, I can sing. Check me out, 2019. <laughs> mixtape coming. You like, you like Flash mixed, from us. Mixtape coming, 2019. <laughs> mixtape nice like coming, this. 2019. Like <laughs> I mean, she just stepped off from us that quick. But um, yeah, Leo Coins, and that's the only time I ever heard, not. I mean, I heard him say some shit here and there. Yeah. But that when he said that, that was so true because we're creating culture every fucking day. Right. Kids are sitting up there. Getting, going viral, doing dances. Yeah. You know what I mean? Every day, little kids are doing love. So that's a, that's something that was never. We gotta capitalize. The problem is we don't capitalize on no, it. We, we don't, don't own it. Just in terms of ownership. And yeah, own, we don't own it. Ownership of the uh the, the medium, how music and how is, it gets is, there. Is, is, and is, that's is why I, I support title. Right. You know what I mean? Because that's a medium that's created by. The, a, a man that looks like me and you, mm-hmm. you know what I mean, that's fronted by him and able to, and he's able to do those type of things, you know what I mean? So are there no-name artists, artists who are, are undiscovered, are they on title? I don't understand. Mm-hmm. They are? Yeah. Okay. If you can get, you can, you can put shit on title anytime you want. It's okay. just like iTunes. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm not been, um, you know I, mean? I mean, I know title, you know, but I don't, I haven't really been up on it. Okay, yeah. I gotta check it out. Yeah, they got a, they got a ton of, like, I, um, boy from Philly, uh, Chill Moody. Mm-hmm. West Philly, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? He got shit on title. Shout out to Chill Moody. Shout out to Chill Moody, you know what I mean? Yeah, Chill I just, Moody got a fucking it's, beard. There's some cats that was like ready to move and ready to break. And, you know, one brother from Philly, from North Philly, if I'm not mistaken, you know, he was ready to blow. Mm-hmm. And, and uh, he was taken from us, you know? You're right. On the boy Snoop. No, no, um, no, young boy, he was, it was down, um, I know you're oh, talking oh, about. Oh, the little kid. Yeah, 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 I remember that. Yeah. Let me get you extra facts. But man. um, yeah. So so, hip hop has a has a voice. It has a medium. It has money behind it that you can make for these kids and stuff like that. The only problem is, is these kids don't have nobody guiding them. They're still uneducated. So what? Yeah, what, I mean, what, 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 what it is? But they, like they but, still. But they their their hustle is impeccable. You know what I mean? Yeah. Their hustle is crazy. That's why dudes like fucking soldier boy. It has to be boy commended. Yeah, yeah. It has to be. That's to be commended. Now, like, now I, if you can get. Are artists like that that we love growing up, J. Ru and mm-hmm. Guru and all of these dudes, if they can adapt that hustle, they'd be monsters. Mm-hmm. They'd be fucking monsters. You think in this this day and age, that's what you're telling me? Yeah. No, not, no, not necessarily those individuals. I'm talking but about people with that skill level. A type. Okay. People with that skill level. Okay. Mm-hmm. And there are people with that skill level that are, look at the like Kendrick Lamar. Well, that's J. Cole. And J. Cole, that's J. Kendrick Cole. Lamar. Yeah. Um, all of those type of dudes. There's still this. Like there's always been 
cheesy rap motherfuckers. Yeah. It's always there and there's always will be. But it's still gonna be motherfuckers that's out there that's dope as shit. Right. You know what I mean? You gotta support them. That's why I go to Push Your T concerts. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I'm not just sitting there and like, oh yeah, Push Your T dope. You got his album? <laughs> no, I ain't get it. You go to the show? No, I ain't go to the right, show. Like, right. what the fuck are you talking about then? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Then there's an, a, a, another movement of uh, artists from the 80s, you know, who are, who are prominent in the 80s throughout the 90s, who are, who are uh, out there saying, like, why do we have to conform? To to this, this 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 you know this lot this ideology that we just because we recorded music now and the, the the industry is not set up for us to record music now why can't we facilitate things for ourselves why do we have to go conform and go away and Daddy O from Statsonic is a big uh, 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 prominent you know uh, instrumental in that regard. Um, when you say conform, do you mean adapt to the like, current so like flow? Stuff like, or, or not or conform to. Um, changing with the times because there are many artists from from my era who, who are still you know we're still recording music okay but the, the thing the thing is, well what i'm saying is is that um some artists have gone away just because the sound has changed or technology has kind of filtered them out mm -hmm. like and they've I mean, gone if they, and they've gone with that as opposed to saying you know what i'm an artist i still got shit to say i'm a dope mc I can still get myself in here and get get heard and put something out mm -hmm. and speak to a new generation and still bri help bridge the gap from my generation to the, to the, to, to this new generation. Mm -hmm. So I think that's one of two things. I think that could either be artist insecurity or that could be that. record companies it's telling them that. like you're not what we're looking for. You know all what I mean? Above. Yeah. And I feel like see, that's what the, it is. See, and then the, the thing about the record companies, fuck the record companies. Yeah, exactly. You know yeah. what I mean? See, I, I'm, I'm a type of dude like. You but know that's me. where they stop. Our generation stops. Yeah, they stop they, that. They that. No, that's that's this generation is going, going past that. That's what I'm saying. They're going to go find. Exactly. They're young boy hustle. I'm like, I'm the type of motherfucker. You know, you know this type. I've always been the type of motherfucker. Like, let's do it ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. That's always even even this. I could have went. We could have. I could have went somewhere where they got equipment and stuff like that, and say, "All right, we gonna do the podcast." I there. wish he had. <laughs> <laughs> they got refreshments and shit and all that kind of stuff. But green room, yeah, green room and all that kind of stuff. But I'm not. I, wanna, I like to be self-contained. I like to do. I like to do things myself if I can do it. Right. I can hire out. You know what I mean, and do stuff like that. But that enables me to shoot whatever the fuck I want to shoot. Yeah. Whenever the I can call Sam up, we want to shoot two podcasts, three. We can shoot eight podcasts if we want. Mm -hmm. For different motherfuckers. If you want to do your own individual podcast and he wants to do his own individual podcast yeah. and I want to do my own individual podcast and then we want to come together collectively, we can do it without having to pull any red tape and all that kind mm -hmm. of shit like that. I mm -hmm. love that freedom. Yeah. That's the new world. You know what I mean? That's, that's the, this whole shit. A, yeah. lot, a lot of, you know, people weren't able we're not able. I'm gonna say it that way. We're not able to actually come on online to this this, this this particular thinking, and maybe they just moved on to some different shit. Yeah. They say fuck it. I had my moment. Yeah, and I'm it, it ain't nothing wrong with you but saying it's hard, fuck it. It's, it's but hard you. to believe that that's exactly what happened because I mean, look it's at a lot of variables. Look that's, at a know. lot of the artists from the '80s. A lot of the artists from the '70s to the '80s, and I'm taking y'all back, you know. But a lot of artists from the '70s to the '80s, they conform to the music of the '80s and the '90s. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like. I mean, you. If, if we go on, and I, let's let's say I can't think of anybody hip hop, but like R and B, you got your Patti LaBelle. You know what I mean? She dropped so many tracks in the '80s and the '90s. You know what I mean? Like she conformed to that flow of music. That you know what we were remember exactly. Remember Franklin had that that's song that Martin Hill produced, Blew Rose of the Rose. Yeah, Blew that's, up. That's what the market was. That's what we're when, talking about. When, when so, Michael Jackson Luther. did Butterfly. Again, I guess I will go Luther, back. Luther yeah. came from disco. That's right. To R and B, right. and was able to change with R and B. Right. He came in like with a technical era when when things were like 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 synth driven, mm -hmm. to an era when the stuff was computer driven. Right. You know, and you know Stevie beat machines Wonder. and such. Stevie Wonder did right. the same thing. Stevie and Wonder, shit. Stevie Wonder mm -hmm. for help influence a whole generation yeah. of music of of globally. Yeah. With that move synthesizer. Mm -hmm. Stevie Wonder not. Uh, yeah, so I mean, well, it's, it's, it's more fun. Like I said, the, the, the people of our, the older artists, they have to they have to adapt that hustle. You don't have to adapt the flow. Mm -hmm. You only have to adapt the, the music feel, but you gotta adapt the hustle. You yeah. can't be sitting around waiting for record companies. That shit is old, that shit is done. Yeah. That shit is dead. Record companies even know it's dead. Mm -hmm. But they still juicing motherfuckers because motherfuckers don't want to put in the work. Mm -hmm. You gotta put in the work. You gotta be willing to put in the kind of work 
that the record like, that you do is just sit back and collect a check while the record company gets some little pass out your flyers or stuff like that. Right. Get on that fucking internet. You know what I mean? Get on there. Get on YouTube. Get on there. You got money in YouTube. You got money in Title. You got money in all the PayPal and all that kind of shit like that. You can get money, merchandise, all that shit. There's money there. You got to get out there and work it though. You know what I mean? I agree. You know what I mean? I agree. You agree, Todd? I do agree. <laughs> it's gonna suck up that fear. Yeah. To say this, this whole new shit. It's a whole new fucking world. Yeah, it's a new world. Mm-hmm. Like I to, to quote um, the movie um, the, the the Social Network mm. with uh, we talk about the Facebook the, joint. Facebook joint. Yeah. We lived on farms. We lived in cities. Now we live on the internet. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That's what it is. And if you can't if you can't think like that. Then you gonna be fucking lost in the right. fucking sauce. Right. Mm-hmm. You know what it's I mean? Information age. Yeah. Anything can. Anything that we desire to know can be found out. You can sell a, a song to a kid in Thailand for ninety nine cent right there. Yeah. Right there. He right. got it. You ain't gotta. I got a CD. I got a DVD. Now you don't right. have to do that shit right. no more. Them things is done. Right. I have motherfuckers selling me CDs. I'm like, dude, I ain't got no fucking place to play it. Right. I got. I got them, but I gotta hook it all up and shit <laughs> like that. You know what I mean? So it's a museum. So yeah, it's, yeah, it's, I got it's, that. They sitting right the fuck there. It's, it's an exhibit. They yeah. sit the right the fuck there. I got a bowl yeah. system in my bedroom, but I gotta hook all that shit the fuck up. Whereas I can grab you. It's I good to look at though. It's for nostalgia purposes. Yeah, yeah. I see that I mean, nori yeah. right there. I got that. Yeah, yeah I, I got yeah. that. Listen, listen. I got joints. What's this? The black album? I don't even know what this is. Lupe Fiasco. Lupe. Yeah. I got joints. I got Lupe Fiasco. Sell that on the internet. See what you get for that. I got I got <laughs> Woo first album on open the CD yeah first I'm, joint I don't yeah it ain't open none of my albums are open nice. nice. I rock them I all. got two of them I bought one and H- opened it and then I bought a second one and left it on one for the house one for the car no 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 incidentally the the brother that was uh his name is General Reezy I don't know if he's from North Philly or South Philly but he was uh he was taken from us. And uh, you know, act of violence, but he was a he was a dope MC. Was mm-hmm. he? Yeah. You know, I just saw Ted you. Know. Yeah, okay, but you, but you got you gotta out. adapt that. And I tell anybody that's out here doing music and you got me over here, Sam? Adapt. <laughs> Sell your shit on the internet. I remember I was watching the joint with uh boy uh, Oskino. Yeah. He's talking when he got out. And uh I think young Chris or something like showed him, he's like, yo, this is all I gotta do? Mm-hmm. So I ain't even gotta go meet these motherfuckers? All I gotta do is get on the internet and email it. Yeah, yeah. Email it to these niggas. Yeah, all I gotta do is send them and they pay me. We ain't gotta. Like, go. oh, this is. He's like, fuck that. Well, Skeeter and them didn't do that back in the day. No, no, no. Uh, he's doing, doing it now. He's doing it now. Okay, okay. I was gonna say. You know what I mean? No, they didn't do that. Nobody, nobody, in, nobody in our generation it's was doing that. It's a brand new world. You know? This shit is new and this shit is dope though. Yeah. Because I don't gotta fucking pound the pavement every day and all that kind of shit. You can upload your shit, sell it. Mm. Right there. Not what? even that. Like people ain't even. They're just putting their shit on on their Instagram page. They're just, you know what I mean. They're being discovered like that. Yeah, like, but you still is, gotta get paid. You gotta get paid. But so I'm saying before so you get paid, you're going. You're, they're, they're they're looking you, to be. You, you kind can of, tease a motherfucker. Exactly. Right, 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 right. You can tease right. a motherfucker with some. Yeah. yeah, you can tease yeah. him with some Instagram shit. Yeah. But you, I mean, you get get your hits and get paid. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's what title is there for. That's what uh, YouTube is there for. Or you could just create your own website. YouTube is making millionaires. Yeah. Millionaires. Mm-hmm. But you, or you can create your own website mm-hmm. and sell your shit on your own website through a PayPal. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You can just do that. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's the same shit. Like, that's how, like, I remember I was um just talking to somebody and we were talking when the new Jordans came out. Mm-hmm. And people was like, oh, man, that's stupid. These motherfuckers beating each other up, running over each other to go get a pair of sneakers or like that. I'm like, yo. These motherfuckers is going in there buying those sneakers and selling them. Resell. For triple the price. Yeah. You laughing. These fuckers. I, I, you, I, remember, I remember when, uh, remember when the, su- of back remember when the Super Trees came, came back out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The, the big high mm-hmm. top trees. Well, I paid three fifty for them motherfuckers. Yeah. You know what I mean? Why'd you do that? Then this and this and the other shoe gonna drop. What's the catch? What's love the catch? Love. Somebody love that tree. Nah, nah, no, no, I mean I love, I love, but but they were they were going. There were some places on the online. These was this is from Timberland when I. Uh, what year was that? This was like last year. Oh, but they were limited. They were like limited edition. Like you, they was only selling a certain amount. So they ain't like they. Uh, nah, they ain't in the store. You can't even get them there. Nah. Nah. Yeah. But you grabbed them for three fifty. Yeah, I got them for three fifty. But okay. you go online try to get a pair now. Mm-hmm. It's that. 
Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. They're stacking like some shit because no motherfuckers got them and they hold on to them. Not, but that's the way they, they, it's a hustle. I feel like they Wrong messed the sneaker business. game up with that. Like they just they did just, mess the sneaker they game just up with that. They messed but the sneaker game up with that. that. I don't buy a lot of that dumb shit that they buying anyway. Yeah. So I don't really care. You yeah. know what I mean? I buy I buy shell toes. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Really? <laughs> keep it. You keep it authentic. You said, oh, I mean, authentic. I buy shell toes. For the eight eight. <laughs> no, I mean, I buy fucking shell toes. You know what I mean? Shell toes, Stan Smiths, Rod Levers. You know what I mean? That's what I buy. You know what I mean? So I ain't too worried about Shout when they the hustling, run. hustling their, uh, their Jordans and everything like that. Red. That ain't no big whoop to me. Run, I buy run. retro. I buy my own style of retro sneaks. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But that's a hustle. But um, we can talk all night. We're not going to talk all night, though. Everybody got to get home and do their thing. We can fucking talk all night. We like it. Thank y'all for tuning in. Um, sorry, we we we're gonna we went a little long, but we're going to be... This is just like a pilot. We're just trying to work everything out. We're going to have more interactive things on the internet with the audience and stuff like that. We're going to have uh, the live broadcast. We're going to have... Um, I'm trying to maneuver a thing where we can get some like, guest DJs going on in here. That'd be hot. Like that, you know That'd be hot. I mean, little stuff, you know what I mean? So, we're going to check you out next go around. Thanks for watching. Peace. That's your home. <laughs> <laughs> Bullshit. I ain't fucking with you with that. <laughs>